The heartbeat you can see in chronic aortic regurgitation, the heart will beat with force and fury. The aortic valve will fail to close, allowing blood to leak back into the left ventricle during your diastole. This increases the end diastolic volume and to compensate the ventricle will undergo eccentric hypertrophy. And so now you're gonna have a massive, it's gonna be ejecting a massive stroke volume. And the result is a widened pulse pressure. It's called a water hammer pulse and a head bobbing that's super dramatic. It's got a name, it's the, uh, the du Mousset sign. So these findings are gonna be driven by one key mechanism. It's gonna be increased stroke volume from volume overload. Think of your Frank Starling mechanism. So the correct answer for our patient here who's a 36 year old man with intense thrombing palpitations at night and neck pulses that are beating like a drum is gonna be aortic regurgitation. It's gonna be increased stroke volume due to volume overload in the left ventricle. It's not gonna be like combined hypertension because that could raise both your systolic and your diastolic, but that would not cause widened pulse pressure. Left ventricular outflow obstruction, that would cause weak and delayed pulses, not bounding pulses. You know, because think of the bounding pulse, like aortic regurgitation is going to come back in and you push it all out and then boom, you get a bounding pulse. Mitral stenosis would lead to a low preload and also a decreased stroke volume. It's not going to be associated with head bobbing. So there we go. The heart beats that you can see aortic regurgitation. If this is helpful, like and subscribe.